Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Today we'll be going over performance dashboards available in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Management Service. You now have access to a powerful data visualization framework that gathers real-time data and displays it in customizable widgets. You can either use the pre-configured out-of-the-box dashboards or build customizable dashboards for specific operational and business requirements. Performance dashboards can be utilized in investigations for a single database or for an entire fleet of databases. Out-of-the-box dashboards are available to quickly assess the overall performance for your environments, and the option to create custom dashboards enables modifying and tailoring widgets to focus on the most important resources or to assist in triaging performance investigations for specific application workflows. The dashboard framework allows quick, easy editing of your own dashboards with customizations to layout and metric groupings from OCI namespaces. These custom dashboards can be shared via PDFs or distributed to other OCI users by an export-import JSON feature. Custom dashboards can be built from scratch or by duplicating and modifying the out-of-the-box dashboards provided by the Database Management Service. Widgets are miniature reports of metric collections that can be displayed in various chart configurations. The widgets can be grouped together to share filter parameters, which allows for easy toggling between OCI region or compartment resources. Filters allow narrowing the scope of the resources presented in the dashboard. They also allow selecting multiple databases to be displayed in the same widget for a fleet-wide comparison of resources. Here is a short demo of this feature. To access the Dashboards feature, you can go to the OCI console Observability and Management, and under Database Management, you'll see the new Dashboards link. You can also go to the Overview, and in the left pane, you can select Dashboards to go to the home page. You will see your dashboards here, as well as two Oracle-provided out-of-the-box dashboards, one pertaining to fleet performance and the other single database target. Let's take a look at the single database target. You'll have a compartment selector, and within the compartment, you can select a database to key in on. We can change the database, as well as the time period that we want to look at. We can select last 60 minutes, 24 hours, and up to 90 days, or we can do a custom interval between that time. We also have the option to change auto refresh to be every 1 minute, 5 minutes, or 15 minutes. And we can hover over these charts to get more information on the data points. We can exclude specific metrics from the graph. So let's take a look at our fleet dashboard. This is going to be similar to our single database, except we have databases in fleet filter now. So we can view all of our databases from the compartment, or we can select key ones to look at. We can also toggle to exclude specific databases from the widgets. In order to create custom dashboards, you can either duplicate one of these out-of-the-box dashboards and edit them, or if somebody has already created a customized dashboard, you can export it to JSON and then go through import steps to bring it into your own. Or you can create one from scratch. We'll give it a brief description. And then I want this dashboard to be dynamic for a region, a compartment, and a database filter. And so these filters for the resources are going to be linked to a compartment. So we can link it to the existing filter we already dragged in. We can add it to a new compartment filter or we can specify the compartment input to have a static parameter for a widget. So 
So right now, we can see in the properties for this filter that the compartment is linked with our compartment filter, but our region is currently linked with the console region. So I'm going to update this to link it to our region filter we just put in. So now all three of these are linked. I can go over to my widgets and can, I can either create a new widget based on an OCI namespace metric, or I can use a library of widgets already provided. We can group these together so they share logical filter parameters, or we can just drag and drop as such. So we need to link it to a compartment. So we are going to use our filter. And this widget is currently no resource name, so it's just looking at the databases in the compartment. We can change this to the database filter we have. And now we can see that it's reflected from the filter. We can also add additional widgets. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to bring in CPU utilization. I'm going to use the exact same filters. I'm going to bring in IO throughput. Again, linking it to the compartment and I want to link it to my database filter. Finally, I'm going to bring in some storage details. We can adjust the sizing of these widgets. So we can extend one all the way out if we want. We can bring it down to make it larger. And we can kind of move and adjust this whichever way we want. And after we've made the changes that we want, we can go ahead and save. And then we can view our dashboard. And again, we can look at all these charts and we can toggle which database we are looking at. The last thing I want to go over is some of the widgets we can create different styles. So in this alarm custom dashboard I've created, we have a couple of regions region one and region two, and these compartments are linked to the region uh, they're next to, and I've labeled them as such one and one and two and two. And then we have a databases and fleet filter below it. So I can check out uh, alarms from different regions and then uh, the databases that might be associated with them. So you can see region one, compartment one, I have a widget group between the alarm count and the alarm details. So these widgets are sharing the uh, parameters from our filters. And so region two, I'm going to select UK South and I'm gonna to go to a different compartment. Now, I don't think we actually have any errors currently for the region and it is reflected here as well. We don't see any known issues right now, but we have different metrics for the compartments in the database that I've selected. So I can quickly adjust and kind of triage where needed for specific environments. I can drill down into these alarm details and this will take us to the alarm service. And finally, if we wanted to, we could export this to JSON 
and then we can import it to share with others. We can print to a PDF to also save these in case we wanted to use them for performance investigations later or archive them for any other use cases. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your day.